Hello class, this is Mr. Wafi, and today we're looking at graphing with Google Sheets. All right, so you, in order to access this assignment, you'll need to sign in to Google Classroom. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're doing today. Okay, so first off, I'll go through a quick tutorial of how to make different charts in Google Sheets. Um, I'll walk through the assignment that you need to do. You have to submit that here in Google Classroom. And after that, you'll also have to submit the Google form where you answer different questions. I'll go over that. And when you finish all of that, there is a paper assignment that is printed out for you that I've also attached on the bottom right here for you. Okay, so today, by the end of the class, you should be able to create broken line graphs, pie charts, bar charts, double or triple bar charts in Google Sheets. I should be able to format the charts. That means change uh, uh, the different formatting on the Google Sheet. And you should be able to interpret a variety of charts. Okay, so let's first step here. We need to open the graphing assignment in Google Sheets below. Okay, let's take a look. Graphing assignments, this one right here. Um, you click on it, and everyone should have a copy of it in their Google Drive. To make sure you do, open up a new tab. Click right here, go to Drive, or just type in Google Drive into the search bar. And you'll find that it'll be, you'll have a folder in your My Drive called Classroom. And within there, you have all your classes. You should have a class called Math 11 AW. In there, double click, in there you'll find your graphing assignment, okay? So let's go back to actually making some charts, okay? So we have two tables here, and I want you to follow along with me um, so, so you get a chance to, to make it yourself. Right here, table one, we have population of Vancouver. So we have to see the different years. Every 10 years, we have the population of Vancouver. See how it changes. We want to make a bar chart and a broken line graph. So first thing you do, click and hold. Drag it all the way down. Everything's selected. Go to insert and chart. Okay, see the little symbol there? It's also a quick menu down there. Um, so click right here. Bam, inserts, it, it chooses a chart, chart editor. Okay, so they have recommendations of what I want. And look at that, they have a broken line graph for me. They uh, recommended the right kind of chart. So I'm just gonna insert that. So I can move that around. There we go, let's move it down here. Well, the, yeah, let's move it down here. Um, and I can take a look. Okay, well that's nice, but see this range here, it goes from zero to 800,000. My biggest number is only 604,000. I wanna change that. All you have to do is double click on the number one, two. And now I can change my minimum to zero, my maximum to, let's go with 650,000. <clears> Excuse me. Press enter. Look at that. Bam. It changes. Second, this population, you know, the, it's, and the, the year, the, the size is very small. So let's double click. And I want to change that to. Change it, yes, 15, yes, yeah, 16, font of 16, that, that'd be nice. And double click, just type in right there, 16, press enter. And before you know it, it's all changed, that's great. And the title, it's a little small, double click on that. Let's make it big. See here, it goes up to 36, if I wanted to, I could type in any number, I could type in like 72, press enter. That would make something huge. Okay, maybe you can't do that, I was wrong. You could do 48 though. But again, that's way too big. So let's just go down to 24. And population versus year, that's good, but you know, it doesn't tell me that's population of Vancouver. So um, I'm just gonna type in right here, population of Vancouver. And guess what I'm gonna press? Press enter to apply. Look at that, it tells us what to do. Good, and then we have our first chart here. It's a broken line graph that is very pretty. Now we want to make a bar chart of the same data. Of ta table 1. Guess what we're going to do? Yeah, select it. Go down to chart. This time I'm going to use the quick menu here. And, and actually look at that in Google Sheets and I think it's the same in Google Docs. If you just put your cursor, put the mouse over any of these symbols, it tells you what it does. How handy. Okay, insert chart. Okay, so they didn't recommend a bar chart. How do we get a bar chart? Well, let's go to chart types. Maybe it's in there. Okay, well, they have different kind of uh, charts here. This is a line bar chart. Um, that's not, ex I know it looks like a bar chart, but that's not exactly what we want. Let's, if we scroll down, though, look what we got. We got some columns. 
Okay, vertical columns, same thing as bar chart. We have a um, horizontal, but we want, uh, let's go vertical. And there you go, you just have to click on it and it, it'll create the it'll create the chart for you. Um, we have other options, all these other crazy options. Explore those, take a look at what they do. And let's go insert. Okay, let's put this one beside our other other chart. Um, we see here, okay, well these are different ranges, so it, it's hard to compare them. Let's double click there again, and let's just make this the same uh, range as the other one. Press, make sure you press enter. Um, again, I'm gonna copy and paste that, the title. Uh, make sure that I go up to 24. There we go, that is beauty. And we see really quickly, um, you know, I can change these sizes really quickly. We have a, a beautiful looking chart, you know? It's great, it's great. Didn't take too much work. It's a lot easier than making it by hand. Um, and we can look, you know, why we graph this data. Well, it's harder to look at those numbers. It's easier to interpret it by, by the chart. Okay, you can see, yep, things were increasing mainly. Yeah, there's a big good, good year there. And then well, things dropped a bit. Right on. Okay, so that's a broken line graph bar chart and let's just take a look at this last chart the pie graph we haven't done this in class yet um, that's because I don't really like these as much but I'll explain that a little later okay so select your chart again click on insert chart and look at that they they suggested a pie chart again if it wasn't suggested go to chart types scroll down find the chart you want we could have that we could have like a 3d pie that's getting crazy we could have a donut pie chart and um, yeah, just click insert. And again, I might want to change this title. That's a pretty lame title. Maybe I want to even just like copy and paste just what I have right there. There we go, press enter. Yeah, that makes more sense. And here we have our beautiful legend um, with all the different colors. How pretty, how pretty. Again, I can resize this chart, do this. I could even click um, on this little drop down and move to own sheet. Okay, I click on that, guess what happens? Look at that. It puts the, sh the chart on its own sheet. Okay, so, um, and it just disappears from here. It goes on its own sheet. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this. And um, I'll delete this, I made that before. Okay, so we're back on the sheet. I deleted it and it actually didn't bring it back here. Um, that's okay. So again, I showed you the basics how to make the two different graphs. I'm gonna uh, just quickly show you what you need to do on your assignment. You get a chance to do this yourself. Okay, so for this first tab here, part one, um, you have, let's look at the task. Okay, the above table shows the amount of cost and food waste a restaurant goes through every month. Use the above table to make a broken line graph in a bar chart. Okay, so it's very similar to what we just did. Answer the questions on Google Forms. Okay, well, let's take a look, Google Forms. Let's go back to our Google Classroom. Scroll down, scroll down. Uh, graphing assignment questions. Okay, this is what you need. So click on that. And you'll see you have um, this graph assignment. This is where the questions are, okay? And part one, broken line and bar chart okay so I look at that part one broken line bar chart that refers to this tab when you're finished this go to part two it's down here where you have to make um, a couple more uh, triple bar charts go back to the forms and right here look at this part two triple bar charts this is where the questions need to be answered when you finish answering the questions click the submit button when you finish making all the different graphs, what you need to do is um, go into, I can't show you because I'm not in student mode, but you need to, you have, you'll have an option to submit an assignment, search for it on Google Drive, choose your, um, your chart, uh, this Google Sheet rather, and submit that. Before you do that though, make sure you call it your first name, space last name dash graphing assignment okay that'll make life a lot easier for for everyone okay so that's due at the end of class 
Um, hopefully that was clear for you. Uh, so this class we looked at how to you know, create broken line graph, bar charts, bar charts, triple or double bar charts in Google Sheets. Um, you'll get a chance to actually search for that one yourself. Um, you should be able to format the charts in Google Sheets and also uh, be able to interpret a variety of charts. Okay. Again, once you finish all this, uh, you will. There is a paper copy of this bottom uh, assignment right here for you. Part one, we just did part one. Part two and three is by hand, and that needs to be submitted as due at the end of day Thursday. This computer part of it, Google Sheets assignment, is due at the end of today, which is Wednesday. All right. Thanks for listening. Catch you later, class.